Hey guys, hey collective hive mind, cold case calls here. And I just read an article, and I'm sure y'all have read it, about the live 22 caliber round that was found next to Suzanne Morphew's bed. And it made the hair on my neck stand up because the, you know, the revolver we found was a 22 caliber revolver. I mean, that's pretty compelling. <clears throat> I mean, what are the chances? Y'all haven't been able to sleep at night thinking that this, I mean, what if guys, what if that's, what if that's the revolver that was used? <clears throat> um, let me know what you guys think over there. Uh, you armchair detectives and shoestring detectives. Um, what are the chances that we locate an Italian-made stainless steel 22 caliber revolver, a higher-end pistol that looks like possibly something a hunter would carry? Who does that sound like? Um, yeah, I'm just shocked about this. So tell me what you think in the comments, please. Um, but y'all, I gotta tell you, I've been losing sleep at night thinking, you know, what if this is the actual, um, item that was used on poor Suzanne, but we've gotten home now and, uh, we're getting back from all the wild stuff that happened over in Moffat, some wild energy over there, guys. Um, but everything's getting back to normal, getting better and, um. I keep calling CBI and the Sheriff's Department trying to figure out if uh, these are key pieces of evidence. I mean, 500 yards from the Suzanne Morphew site. You know, that's where this revolver was found. So, gosh, what, about, what, if, what if this is the key piece of evidence, guys? I mean, I feel like the creator revealed that to us for a reason. So... I've been praying. I've been praying that this is it. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I just wanted to come live real quick and express my feelings about this. I had a couple comments that said there was a 22 caliber round found near the bed. And I thought, oh, this is just rumors. Man, just Google it, guys. You can go on and Google 22 caliber round found next to Suzanne Morphew's bed. I mean, law enforcement collected it. Um, and there was possibly rounds in this revolver still. Should be an easy connection there, guys. But, uh, yeah, man, it just makes the hair on my neck stand up. Like, what a, what if? And then again on the sheet, you know, the people said that there was pillows and stuff flown, thrown down on the floor in some other rooms. And, uh, but it's just the location of the sheet was literally like, 30 yards from the remain site and it looked like it could be pulled could have been pulled up by a predator or scattered by a scavenger um, and uh, you know I've been an elk hunting guide for about 10 years and I know what dried up blood on cloth and fabric dries up to look like after a few years it gets that really light brownish and the way it was splotchy on that piece of sh piece of the bed sheet man it's telling so we also found another bone that was collected that was a very peculiar looking bone that the sheriff's collected. So um, hopefully that'll turn into something. But yeah, I've just been on pins and needles lately, guys. Hoping that this evidence is the key stuff. And I, of course, you know, I get the haters, you know, like, oh, you're over inflating everything and uh, overreacting, yada, yada. Oh, the guns just randomly found in places all the time. No, that's not, I mean, it's so close to the crime scene. It's like, <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys are having a blessed day and a blessed week, beginning of your week on here on Monday. And um, this, man, I'm just hoping that this is what the thing that puts old BM away. You guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, uh, people say, oh, you shouldn't post this. This might help the defense and stuff, but I don't see how. I mean, this, if anything, is this is going to put the nail in the coffin for him, you know? Think about it, guys. It's direct evidence, direct connection. Like, how could that hinder anything? And I just wanted to let everybody know, the collective hive mind, you know, I record everything and display it as it happens. And I do that for historical record and for... Um, 
you know, just so there's a record that it's how we found it at that time and that we didn't touch it or alter it or anything like that. Like that revolver was found stuck down in the mud. So it was, it had clearly been there for between two to four years, approximately given the tarnish of the barrel. So, I mean, the timeline seems to line up and everything with this, this revolver. Um, it's the craziest thing I've ever found in my life. And it, it hit me like a lightning bolt when I saw it on laying out there, man. It was crazy. It was like the creator revealed that to me. And I believe that. So, but if you can say a prayer that hopefully that this is, you know, it's the key piece of evidence that we need. I keep calling. I'm just going to keep calling and they got my number. I just been waiting for a call. Hopefully it'll come in. Well, let me know what you guys think, you detectives at home. I mean, just Google up 22 caliber round, Suzanne Morphew. And I mean, it, it would make sense the type of person he is to have a revolver like that, you know? So, it's really strange, peculiar. The dots, are the, the planets are starting to align here. But it just could be a random coincidence, though, too. You know, that's always the big chance. So, but if any of you clairvoyant folks are out there, maybe give this a look and tell me your opinion. I know there's some people in there that are, have some clairvoyant skills. But <clears throat> I hope all you having a blessed Monday and a, have a blessed week. And uh, tell me what you think about all this drop of. A like and subscribe down in the comments and tell me what you think and like i said we're back to upbeat videos that we're not going to let the hate and the negativity slow us down we got some searches coming up but i've just been waiting on pins and needles but you know it's probably going to take a long time with this you know if there's a you know new trial and the evidence for it to get analyzed so it's probably going to take a little while so all we can do is wait and cross our fingers and uh, wait on pins and needles but I just want to say thanks to all you guys in the comment section with your kind comments and helpful and spiritual comments. It's so uplifting and uh, it's what I need to keep this channel going. And uh, I just think it's too much of a coincidence for that revolver to be found that close to Suzanne's remains. And then the 22 caliber round found next to her bed. Man, it's strange. It gives me goosebumps. Every time I think about it, it makes the hair on my neck stand up. So that's what makes me think it's this is something big. But I'm not trying to overinflate anything. I'm just connecting the dots here. You know, it's a pretty big deal. I've never found a firearm before like this in a uh, shady area. So, again, thanks for the wonderful comments. Keep them coming. And uh, it takes me a little while to get back to everybody. So if I don't get back to you right away, don't take it the hard hard way. I got to think about how I comment back. So, um, but I love y'all. And uh, let's keep this, you know, hive mind collective going. We're a blossoming community. And it's really turning out good. And uh, hopefully we can all get together and put our minds together in the collective hive mind to help solve and assist law enforcement with solving these cases you know we're not competing we're not trying to hinder any investigations we're just assisting and the youtube community is a strong voice and there's a lot of re really smart true crime people out there you know who you are i appreciate y'all for watching and uh, let's figure this thing out together but this coincident with the revolver and then the the round i had to come live to talk about it to see what you all think out there so all you detectives sitting at home that know a lot. I know there's a lot of people out there that know every aspect of this case. And I don't know why this hasn't been a bigger deal yet. But it's just the coincidences are shocking. So anyway, have a blessed week. And uh, we'll talk to you soon if I hear of anything else or any revelations. So blessings. Have a great evening.